Okay, my name is Macy Lane. I have been an intern at school for two weeks now, and I will be a senior at Oklahoma State University. I'm Blaine Hill. Um, I go to Texas Tech University. I've been there for three years. Um, I'm an intern here at School Cadillac and Grapevine, and I've been here for four days, so you know, pretty fresh. Now you're, you're both so enthusiastic and pumped up. Yes, sir. I'm very because we, we we all go into companies where people are frowning. Mm -hmm. They're looking down. They don't say hello to people. They can't wait to get away. Mm -hmm. And you, you guys are just on fire. Yeah. <laughs> why? Well, really, I mean, that's why they picked us. It's because um, they look for people like us that really just want to help the customer because that's what comes first here at Sewell. We want to help the customer first, and then you know, then you worry about the sale. But you want to make them feel like this is you know their home as well as ours. We're welcoming people in and just trying to put a smile on everyone's face. You know, serving them, doing whatever we can to just make the deal as you know the best thing for them, really. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, in bouncing off of him, all the associates always emphasize that we're a customer service company that sells cars. Mm -hmm. So we're focused on our relationships. That's how you sell a car is we have a great relationship with our customers and we serve them and we never charge above MSRP. That's one of our standards because we want the best thing for our customers because the Sewell family is really a family and we treat other associates, we treat other interns, we treat our bosses and the customers all like they're our immediate family. So sure, we don't yeah. want to ever do anything that we wouldn't do with our family member. Mm -hmm. I've been asking each of you this. When was there a moment when you realized that this is a, what, a wow experience? It must have been a point in time. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I know. It was my very first interview, and yeah. <laughs> it was immediate because Justin, our general manager, um, I talked to him at the informational before our first interview, and um, his wife was a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, and I danced Oklahoma State, and so we bonded over that in the first place, and he just took such an interest in who I was, and I know it wasn't just to dig at me and to see who I was to get a sneak peek of my resume before he would see it the next day at the interview, mm -hmm. he was really trying to get to know me as a human being. And that was when I realized that things are a little different here. And then he was looking out for me the entire interview process, like he really took an eye out for me and treated me like I was his daughter. And nice. every single person that I interviewed with called me after I got the job, told me how excited they were to see me on my first day. And that was in October, that was like six months ago, mm -hmm. if not longer. Yeah. So that was definitely uh, the first time that I realized that this is different. And then every single day that I've been here, it's been even better. And and Blaine, mine is very here. similar. It's very common to have Justin as like the main guy because I interviewed over at BMW and then I interviewed here. Obviously Sewell is great everywhere. Um, but really the big thing, you know, I was in a rush all day. I only had five hours of interview. I didn't get to have the group dinner or group lunch with everyone. They just got me Chipotle. They were like, we gotta go, we gotta go. You know, my flight landed late. Um, went over to BMW, we did interviews all day, but then I got over here and it was just kind of like, he could tell I was very stressed out and he just kind of took me into his office. He was like, you know, just tell me about yourself. I don't want to, you know, press you too much. But we ended up just connecting on just like a completely different level. You know, I just felt like he really cared about me. And I met a couple people here and it was the same thing and it's been great. And really the feeling that I got is like the first day that we came in, uh, me and Jacob, the other intern um, that's with us, he, uh, we went in there and they do the whole confetti thing and everyone's in there and they're, they're, they're so happy for us. And everyone's just like, it just feels like they were just welcoming you in on like what felt like the biggest day of my life, really. It's just like a whole new start to a journey and it was just great. It's so awesome. Yeah. And related to that, um, let's turn to Elizabeth for a moment. Each of you have had great experiences, but what's the one thing you learned? I'll ask each of you this, so you can collaborate. <laughs> but but this, these should not be talking points. This is from the gut. Right. So I want to know the feeling of it rather than the, you know, the pricing of it. Okay. So uh, who wants to begin? What was it about Elizabeth? Um, Elizabeth definitely is a phenomenal human being as well as a phenomenal saleswoman and she balances her family life as much as she balances her work life and that was something that really stuck out to me is that something that i can do i see myself in that role and she's very competitive and it made me feel like there's a fire inside of me like wanting to get like every time there was someone who walked through the door she was like let's go best. like let's get a sale like come on we gotta go like let's welcome these people into our home basically uh -huh and let's give them what we can give them. Yeah. Um, and so there was like a little like excitement every time someone walked through the door, like I might be able to help this person, like I can serve this person 
And it wasn't just like, I want to take their money. It was, I want to help them mm -hmm. get into something that they're going to, they're going to spend most of their time in this vehicle. Like we want to make sure this is a great experience for them and not only building value in the car, but building value in Elizabeth herself and making sure that they know that she can always be a point of contact for them with their vehicle and building value in Sewell because this company is phenomenal, like we mm -hmm. just talked about. So um, being in a Sewell vehicle and getting the Sewell package, getting amazing world-class service and free car washes whenever you want. And oh, yeah. you can come in and get fresh stuff like this right here. Yeah, yeah, this is getting to just hang out with customers. Mm -hmm. Like this is what we love. And it's one of my favorite parts of the day. And Elizabeth just makes that even better because she encourages it. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Blaine, your moment in time, the first moment in time that you said, my God, this is really great. Uh -huh. So um, I haven't had any work with yeah. Alyssa yet. Oh, that's or right. Elizabeth yeah. that's right. yet. So, but in the meeting after we did the whole confetti deal we sat down and we were discussing you know going over like table of contents with all the the stuff that we're gonna have to do over the summer and like we were talking about the sales board and her name was at the very top and you could just see it her line of stars were all the way across the board where everyone else was they like kind of yes off the board. and that i said um i look at chris the guy we were with i said chris why is elizabeth just like so far over compared to everyone else he said She's very good at what she does, and she knows how to make great connections. And exactly what Macy was saying is like she knows how to branch off, get the referrals, and treat everyone like because after one person has a great deal like that, like obviously y'all have had it. It's like you want if someone wants a Cadillac, you're like you go to Elizabeth, and she's the, that type of person. Yeah, and that's that's the best part. Yeah. What uh, what did you want to add to it that we haven't? when it comes to the emotion and feeling of, of the experience, because this is a brand mm -hmm. exhilaration you're going through. Yes. So anything else where you're just, and the more you can describe a moment in time, the better I think it connects with, with people. Um, I think you've, you've explained a few moments. Yeah, um, I've worked in other professional internships before in other professional environments, but nothing has compared to, I mean, one of my favorite parts of the day is just walking down the hall and someone like stopping you and saying, Hey, like, I remember you had this going on. Like, how's that going? Yeah. Or, Hey, like how many, how many semesters you have yeah. left Oklahoma State? And I'm like, I had no idea you, that you knew I went to Oklahoma State. Yeah. Like, how did you know that about me? Um, or like asking about when I have palm practice coming up, if I have any practices this summer. Yeah. And I was like, you remember like these details about me. And it's, we don't just remember details about our customers so that we can sell better to them, but they remember details about other associates. Yeah. And that definitely has made a big impact sure. on just like the welcoming feel and knowing that yeah. I can go to anybody here for any help. I like just pop, I need like a That's agent biggest, tag yes. to drive someone on a test drive and I can pop into anybody's office and I'm like, hey, I need the agent tag. Yeah. Like, there's a customer outside, I want to get him on test drive, I don't want to waste their time. Like I can go to anybody's office, not just Elizabeth. Like mm -hmm. everybody's looking out for us. Everybody wants the best for us and wants to see us succeed. And that's very evident. That is, that is the good. biggest difference here. It's yeah. like, cause like if, I, if I'm having trouble over like in service, like we have somebody pull up that I'm not sure what exactly to do. Yeah. I see, I mean, there's always people looking out for me cause they know obviously like I'm, you know, new and everything. Yeah. I remember the first day I was working in service and uh, I went up and, you know, introduced myself to the lady that had pulled up and then I'm like, she's like asking for all this stuff that I had no clue what she was talking about. She's like, yeah. oh yeah, I had an appointment for this. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna get someone right with you. And already I see Nico, which I work in the same area as him. Yeah. He's like, I got it, dude. He's like, hey, just go take care of another car. And then another guy in here came up to me and he was like, hey, I saw what you did today. That was great on your first day. Like, and then you went over and helped somebody else. It's like, everyone sees like what you're doing and you get appreciated for it. Wow. And that's the biggest thing is like, yeah, I've worked places where I'm always more outgoing or I try harder than someone else and no one really seems to care. But like, and in this environment it is like the number one thing and everyone appreciates it. And it's- You feel the little, they talked about this in orientation, you feel like the subtle hand on your back like yes. pushing you forward. Yes. Like they <laughs> always are challenging you to be better, but they're not gonna shove you into something you have no idea what to do. Mm -hmm. Like I took a customer on a test drive today and I've only seen test drives up and I've never taken something <laughs> on a test drive. And Liz was like, okay, go. Like I have somebody else, like take on a test drive. Yeah. You know, like you've done this, you know what to do, you've seen it, you can do it. And I'm like, okay, like I'm really nervous, yes. but I did it and then 
now I can say I've done it. And the next time I do it, I'm going to be even better and I'm even more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And so you always feel that subtle hand on your back. Like someone's always looking out for you, making sure you don't fall off the edge, but they're going to help you. They're going to make sure you feel prepared and confident in what you're doing. You're going to feel a little nervous when you do things for the first time, when you welcome a guest for the first time, or when you take somebody on a test drive for the first time, mm -hmm. or you're giving them the paperwork and you're presenting the financial numbers. Like you want to make sure you're confident, but you're going to be nervous but you're always sure that somebody's watching you and yes. looking out for you if something does happen. And what did you tell your parents when they said, how is your internship going? Oh my gosh, well my mom loves school. My grandparents have bought like seven Cadillacs from the Dallas location. And my mom's first car was from the Dallas location. And then my mom bought her Infinity from the Fort Worth location. So my parents and my family are all big Sewell customers. And so they're like, if you could even try to get an internship with Sewell, like it'd be great. And so when I got it, like my family was probably more excited than I was. Like I had never had a Sewell experience. My car isn't from Sewell. And they were like, that's phenomenal. Like that you get to be a part of this family and you get to have this experience. Like even if Sewell doesn't work out long term, if you don't get the full time position or if you don't like it, like this experience is yeah. something very different than anything mm -hmm. you'll ever have. Yeah. And mm -hmm. see, I haven't bought a car from here and my family hasn't, but my uncle has that I'm staying with here. But um, my biggest thing that like I realized how bad I wanted to be here was whenever I left the inter the second interview in Lubbock, we went to uh, like the school convention center and we did that there and we came back and the next day I had another interview and like I called my dad. I was like, I remember I was sitting on my back porch in my apartment. I was like, dad, I'm going to get this. I was like, they don't pick many people, but I told them, I was like, this is me. This is what I like. I want to sell. I want to be like in an environment where you're appreciated. I told them I'm going to get it. And then surely, surely enough, a week later, I get the call back and I call. I was like, dude, I got it. You know, it was just like the best feeling in the world to just, you know, like just finally get something going like that. Because after you're in school for a long time and you're just working over money, it's like, is this like really worth it? And um, just having something like this, it just completely changes everything really. So I'm so happy to be here.